Federated States of Micronesia is a large ocean state in the Pacific. It has 607 islands, but with a vast ocean uh, space. Obviously, it's a lot of uh, resources, uh, potential resources. Many of those resources are yet unexplored, but we need to preserve them because they are under threat. They are in danger of uh, being harmed by so many uh, uh, issues, for example, climate change and sea level rise. That's more than 60% of the uh, negotiated boundaries in the region. It's closer to 70%, which is well above the global average for these negotiations. So the cooperation in the Pacific and the spirit of working together to find these solutions is really leading the world in, uh, in negotiating our maritime boundaries. It basically establishes um, a coastal state's uh, limit of how far it can exercise powers at sea. We're able to um, find agreement in ways uh, more effectively than, say, other regions around the world. Um, we have a lot in common. We have this concept called the Pacific Way. And then out to the 200 mile limit is what's called the exclusive economic zone, which is the area that countries are allowed to, um, to make commercial returns from exclusively for the benefit of that country. Well, SBC provides a lot of the science and technical support to member countries around delimiting their maritime boundaries. It's quite a technical process to actually measure the baselines, for example. Where is the low tide, and uh, lowest astronomical tide mark around these very uh, rich archipelagos with lots of coastline? We do surveys um, at sea, uh, actually measuring uh, depths, measuring baselines, uh, identifying the physical attributes that set the baseline for the member countries that then allows the extended zones to be calculated from that point forward. It's always important because it's very risky, you know, to carry out some of these things. Oceans is an area that, and, and seabed are areas that, you know, we don't know much about. And so the riskier, uh, you, you, have, you must have watertight legislation and making sure that, you know, you don't impact the seabed or, 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 or organisms or biodiversity for that matter. Our people uh, kind of uh, have that uh, hope that despite the threats of say, sea level rise, climate change, that we might be able to preserve our environment. What we're doing now is for the benefit of those who will come after us.